whatever the filter picks up here, we're gonna mash them all up on the iPad. Okay, oh, okay, we've got a Triceratops, Grim Reaper, Mummy, and a deer. This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna try to do the tie-dye and the spikes on the Triceratops with the Grim Reaper face, some bandages from the mummy, and then maybe the antlers and ears from the deer. I drew these squiggles and I'm gonna blur it, yes. Drew on that face, and I'm adding the spikes from the Triceratops. Let's add on some of these bandages. Add on those little dots from the fawn's head. And finally, I'm gonna add on those antlers and add some finishing touches. And here's that one all complete. I am in love with this one. I think it's my favorite one I've done so far. Let me know what you think we should name him in the comments. Part two, whatever it picks up here, we're gonna mash them up on the iPad. All right, we've got a cheeseburger, rainbow raccoon, a cinnamon roll, and was that a little mouse? Okay, close inspection, I think that's a cat. Sorry, don't come for me. So I think what we're gonna do is the elements of the burger with raccoon eyes, and I think maybe make the bottom part be this rainbow with a cinnamon roll swirl on the top and cat ears, and maybe try to pull in some of this color and the whiskers. Let's go. All right, let me draw on that burger. Tomato. Okay, I think if I just add in all these rainbow colors down here like this, then I can blur it to make it be rainbow. Yes, that's perfect. And let's add on these drips, adding the swirls. Okay, I did the eyes, and I think because of the brown, it kind of looks like a sloth, but whatever, it's cute, I'm keeping it. Okay, pretty chaotic, but I love her. Let me know what you think we should name her in the comments. All right, let's let this filter pick four random Squishmallows, and we're gonna mash them up on the iPad. All right, we've got a crab, a cat, is that an artichoke and a cobra? There's a lot of purple, so I'm thinking we do a tie-dye from this cat, and then we do the green part from, obviously it's a tulip, I just got it. Um, and then I think we wanna add crab hands, and then for the snake, we can add maybe like the snake tongue, and we can think about doing these little things on the side. Okay, up first, I'm gonna add my purple, and then I'm just gonna grab a blue and add these shapes in here, and then do a blur on them. All right, let's blur it out. Yes, that's exactly what I was going for. Okay, gonna add in the crab claws. What? Crab claws, that is. I'm gonna add the thing on the top of his head, but in that color. I love him. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever this lands on, we are gonna mash them all together on the iPad. Oh, this is a good one. I'm gonna open up Procreate. Okay, I'm thinking we use the rainbow from this Pegasus, the kind of lime green from the skeleton, the eyes of the raccoon, and then the fins of the stingray. First, I'm just gonna add these kind of rainbow squiggles all around it. Now that I have that, I'm gonna take this Gaussian blur, and yes, that's perfect. I got the skull drawn on there, and I'm just gonna add in the lime green from that bunny. These eyes might be hard to add onto this, so I'm thinking I might do these ears, but with the rainbow like the raccoon. Last step is just to add on these fins from the Stingray. And here's this one all complete. I love this one so much. Let me know what you think we should name him in the comments. I mashed up these four Squishmallows into this one and a lot of you all had questions about how I made it. So I'm gonna answer some of those. So the app is called Procreate and it is $12.99, but I think it's worth it because you can do some really cool things within it. So I basically drew this and it's kind of my template for all the ones I'm making. And as you can see here, there's all these different layers that I have drawn on to kind of merge things on top of each other to get the final result. To get the tie-dye, I colored in a layer underneath this circle, and then I just drew these little like squiggles. And there's a really cool tool where you can blur things um, called Glossian Blur. And then when you blur it, it kind of gives that tie-dye effect, or I use it for shading as well. So let me show you that. So let's say I wanna add a layer of shadow on top of this green. I can make a new layer and then draw where I want that shadow to go. And then using that same blur tool, it kind of creates a shadow. And then on that layer, you can use two fingers and that's the opacity. So that's basically like, oops, you can make it be either like really pronounced or a little bit lighter. So I did the same thing for the shadows on the bandages here. So if I just make a new layer, I can actually make those shadows in like just a black lines like this. And then I can do the blur and then two fingers down the opacity and then it looks like shadows instead of just black lines. 
Anyway, I hope that helped. I have a couple other videos with the same concept, so check those out, and I'll definitely be making more in the future. I found this Furby name generator online, and I thought it would be fun to generate a name and then draw a custom Squishmallow based on that name. Okay, let's see what we get. Wildberry Rabbit. Okay, that is literally a perfect Squishmallow name. I've got my little Squishmallow guy here that I've drawn. So I think first and foremost, we need to change the mouth and make it be a rabbit nose. And then draw on these ears. I feel like that looks more like a dog. <laughs> funny. I'm thinking like a strawberry. So maybe the bottom part can be the stem. The strawberry has the little dimples. It does look like a rabbit to me. Maybe he needs like a blueberry hat or something like that. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it done. I think this turned out really cute. You can definitely get all the different berry vibes within it. And it's not too far off from something I think Squishmallows would actually make. Let me know what you think in the comments.